What's up everyone? Hope everybody's doing well and welcome back to my channel. My name is James. Today I wanna go over my Grail pickup. I've wanted these for a number of years. I recently sold a bunch of clothing so I had a little bit of access capital. Typically everything I have has some sort of monetary value. So I just throw it up on Grail. I'll leave my Grail right down here if you wanna check out what I have on there now. These are a pair of pants that I got from Blue and Green New York, uh, Soho to be exact and I am very excited for these. So these are my Capital Century Denim. If you look, you'll see that they're number nine. The Capital logo is right here. And then obviously the color that you'll see. So these are a black Shishiko or a black 12 ounce unsamphorized denim with a mud dyed shishiko woven over the top or through the jeans. I love this colorway. If you've seen any of my videos, I'm a big black wear and then I wear a bunch of brown. My Staffa jacket is brown, a lot of my other stuff. Obviously denim is a color that I wear as well, but I try to stick to blacks, browns, whites, and grays. I really wanted these jeans because I really wanted to see how they faded. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit disappointed because the pants itself are not salvage, but uh, everything that I've seen is that they don't do a salvage. If they do salvage and you guys have seen it, leave a comment in the description because I would love to see some. I wanted them because, I, again, I wanted to see the fading of the pants, but I also really loved the aesthetic of their 1940s kind of inspired pants. So. The pants itself are um, kind of inspired by the 1940s. If you look, they've got kind of a clinch back. So right here, you'll see that they've got the clinch back just like you would like pre-1944 Levi's denim. If you look at the, the belt loop over here as well, you'll see that it kind of goes across. That's kind of a, an homage to the pre-1940s as well. And then, you know, just nuances the button fly so you'll see that they've got the donut button flies so you know the newer stuff uh the newer levi's inspired stuff is is flat but these are kind of be inspired by like 1937 you know those that pre-war kind of denim and then they've got the riveted pockets so if you look in here you'll see that they've got the rivet rivets these ones are a hidden rivet you know, I just love that kind of aesthetic. I think like the high-waisted kind of wider pant is something that I really like. I am a bit more of an athletic build, so I tend to wear like the 505s. I do have a pair of 501s that I am kind of going through the fading of how they start to finish in my short series, so I definitely recommend checking that out if you haven't seen it. They're just such a great pant. I love the, the black denim. Again, it is a 12 ounce unsamphorized so it will shrink a little bit. And then the shishiko itself is a mud dyed. So it's done in Japan on an island. I don't know the exact name, I'll leave it right here, but it is can only be done there, or it's only done there, and it's done by hand. All the shishiko, I believe, is a like a silk dyed shishiko, and they hand dyed in mud, which adds like a really cool aesthetic, as well as a huge amount of labor behind it. I really have wanted these for many, many years, but they are quite expensive. So I did have to sell a few other pieces, but kind of a one in, one out. So this time it was like four in, one out, or four out, one in. Um, but that's the thing, as your wardrobe grows, you kind of elevate your style and you get less of the things that you don't really care for. And then you buy one thing that you really care for and your wardrobe gets smaller, but better. In regards to sizing of these, uh, everybody that I talked to said that you should go down a full size. Uh, you know, if you read the subreddits, you read the blogs, everybody talks about going down a size. Um, that might be because of the shrinkage, I, I don't know. I don't plan on washing these for probably two or so years, but I went true to size. I, I looked on Blue and Green's website and they had a full size chart there. I typically wear a 33, so there's a 32 option, which is obviously gonna be much too small, and then there's a 34 option. Everybody that says if you're a 34, you should wear a 36. If you're a 36, you should wear a 38. So, you know, that kind of concept. I just didn't feel comfortable wearing a 36. The 36 to me was just, too big. I looked at the measurements and I was like, even if I wash these, they're not gonna shrink that much. And I've tried 36 inch shrink to fit like denim from Levi's, like raw denim from there, and they never shrink. So, so I went true to size. 
Um, the measurements on the 34 or 33 and a half. So if you are a true 34, definitely recommend like kind of doing some research. So 33 and a half, and then the, the waist and everything like that is gonna kind of pay homage again to that 1940s aesthetic. So the front rise is going to be 14 inches. The back rise is going to be 16 inches. And then the leg opening or the bottom opening is about eight inches. So it does have a pretty drastic taper. I am okay with that. I am a bit more of an athletic build, so I wanted more kind of space in there. And then I wear them cuffed, so I don't want them like skinny jean cuff look. I wanted more of a relaxed fit. The inseam on them is a little under 34 inches, so they are a bit big for me. I'm debating whether I want to go and have them hemmed or if I just want to kind of cuff them. I'm kind of leaning towards the cuff just because I want the ability that if I do wash them or, or a soak or something along those lines that they will shrink a little bit and then I can just loosen the cuff and recuff them. But I'm really, really happy with these. I it's something that I've wanted for many, many years. And I think it's gonna be something that I will just truly cherish. Again, if you look, you know, at the denim itself, it is a black denim with a mud dyed shishiko woven fabric. I believe it is a sulfur dyed, so it is a 12 ounce sulfur dyed denim that will hopefully fade. I love this kind of patch and then this is I believe the three different methods that they used for the dyeing. Very, very excited about these. I think they're a great jean and there's definitely something that I'm going to wear for many, many years. So I did talk about price a little bit, but I didn't talk about really the, the price. So I got these from Blue and Green in Soho. They are again, a kind of a men's heritage boutique that sells a number of different kind of products. These were $662. They are not cheap. Um, I don't know if you would say that, you know, if you talk to the person that's like very much value for money, I don't know if they would say that these are a good value for that money um, because there are, you know, $500 jeans that will last you 200 years and you can bury them in the ground for 400 months and they're gonna come back and blah, 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 blah. I have kind of moved past that value for money thing because I think once you hit a certain level of quality and if you take care of it, then you're not going to, you're, for the most part, you're gonna wear, I mean, a $20 pair of jeans, like, you're not going to wear them out all that quickly. I mean, if I get 10 years out of these, like, that's a huge value to me, even at the price, than buying a pair of denim that takes me a year to break in, and I, you know, my stomach hurts, and they're just so uncomfortable for a year before I even wear them. I'll wear those, like, 10 times a year. I'll wear them, you know, in the summer, I'm not gonna wear them, because they're gonna be so hot, and then in the winter, I'm gonna wear them, but I wear a suit five days a week, so, so I go with stuff that gives me kind of excitement and enjoy, and you know that kind of ideal so although these are expensive I know that there's something that like when I go to buy another pair of denim I'm gonna compare it to this and I may not buy another pair for many many years just because or for me like many months um, because I know that I've got something better at the house and I'm so excited to have the opportunity to wear them I love the, the again the patch pot uh, the clinch on the back I love the donut hole buttons. I love the made in Japan. I love the capitals kind of aesthetic, but thank you for coming. You guys, I really appreciate you coming to my videos. Make sure you like, and subscribe down below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to reply. Uh, it was a pleasure seeing you. I'll talk to you soon. Be safe. Goodbye.